Hey guys, Paul here with another video. Today we're going to talk about keto diets for bodybuilding. I'm going to make some buttholes sore on this one. People love their keto diets and they get pissed off when you tell them they suck. Uh, anyway, uh, before we get into it, please take the time to subscribe to my channel if you want to show your appreciation for me. That's the way to do it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. If you have questions or comment, put them in the comment section below. Tell me what an asshole and idiot I am. Ask me questions. Whatever you want, put them in there. Uh, if you want to get in contact with me, my contact information is in the video description. I am at Paul K. Barnett on Instagram, and I can also be reached on Gmail at bigp3rd at gmail.com. All right, so keto diets for bodybuilding. Um, you know, look, I'm not opposed to keto diets. Uh, I know a lot of people love them and they, they, you know, I, I know it makes some guys peepees stand up when they, when they do keto diets. I, I, uh, here's my thing with keto diets. I don't think most people that say they're doing keto are really doing keto. Um, I don't think they know what keto really looks like. And they just say they're doing keto and they're what they're doing is just eating meat all day long. Um, a real keto diet is actually lower in protein. It, it's You're getting the majority of your, your calories. Somewhere between 70 and 80% of your calories are actually coming from fat. Um, so uh, you want to keep, in order to get into ketosis, you, you have to have your carbs probably as close to zero as you possibly can get them. And you want to keep the protein low enough that none of it is getting converted to glucose through gluconeogenesis. Um, so, yeah, you're pretty much mostly eating fat. That's that's what you're existing off of. And, yes, you when, when you eat fat, you proportionally burn fat more as a fuel. But keep in mind, at the end of the day, when you're trying to lose weight that the laws of thermodynamics rule supreme, you have to be in a caloric deficit. It doesn't matter if you're doing keto, carnivore, carb cycling, eating candy bars all day long. You can lose weight, body fat, no matter what, if you are in a caloric deficit. Now, I do think there are certain diets that have body composition advantages over others. Yes, but that does not violate the laws of thermodynamics. So here's my problem with keto. I have a couple problems with keto. Um, 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 so for bodybuilding, what do muscles run off of? When you're lifting, muscles are fueled by glycogen, carbohydrates, glucose. Um, if we are not eating any <laughs> carbohydrates... How are you going to fill up the glycogen stores in your muscle? It, you, the guys that do keto always get this flat, stringy look. They can lose body fat, but they're always flat looking. They never look full. You cannot get full looking um, doing keto, uh, which if you're just a, a, a gym goer and you, you want to do your thing, whatever, that, that's fine. Rock on with your keto. But I think for bodybuilding, it is suboptimal. We want that full round big you know puffy look that 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 uh, i shouldn't say puffy puffy implies bloated but that full look that that judges love them and and fans love to see on stage and keto is not going to do it for you just not going to do it for you um, um also you can't eat a ton of protein on keto as well i don't think you can really eat enough protein maybe if you push your calories high enough uh, um uh, you, you, you could, uh, for bodybuilding purposes. And here's another thing. This is the thing that I don't hear people discuss. And I have seen it over and over and over and over again in dudes blood work. I, I, I like help guys out. I'll, I'll take a look at their blood work every once in a while, just more for my own curiosity than anything. Um, and I, I've done this for years. Um, uh, the, here's the thing with key <laughs> keto. If you're taking anabolics, a lot of dudes like to crush orals on top of it and take stuff like fucking trend and, and hammer the anti-estrogens year round that already skews your lipids. And when you're eating a, di a diet that's predominantly made up of, of, of fats and cholesterol, what do you think is going to happen to your lipids? I've seen dude, I, I, I saw, I saw, I saw one guy 
I, I don't, you know, I'm not going to name any names, but I saw one dude where his, his cholesterol <laughs> went from something like 120 and then he went on keto. And after like three months of being on keto, his cholesterol was like three fucking hundred. Uh, you know, so if you're taking gear, you, I, I personally, this is my opinion. You take it, do it with it, what you want. Tell me I'm an idiot. That's fine. I think, I think you're playing fire if you're, if you're doing a high fat diet and, and, and rolling, rolling the, uh, anadrol out or, or I, I, you know, I've seen dudes have heart attacks from, from, from coronary artery blockages that are running these high fat diets while, while hammering the ant. Hammering the androgens, not a smart idea. I just don't think it's a smart idea. That in it, and it's not what we want for body composition. We want full glycogen stores for bodybuilding. Um, you know, so, all right. So with, with that said, I, I do think there are applications for keto. I don't think it's completely worthless. Um, I think there are situations where you could strategically deploy keto and, and, and it could be an advantage. So I'll give you one such example it would be somebody who's severely obese, um, has completely lost all insulin sensitivity, maybe somebody who's pre-diabetic or even diabetic. A lot of times when you run keto, you can reclaim some of your insulin sensitivity in, and I've seen people actually reverse pre-diabetes with, with running keto for a period of time. Uh, you could also do it with a low carbohydrate diet as well and, and still eat carbs, but you know, restrict carbohydrates. But I, keto seems to be very effective at that. I have seen some information, um, that keto, uh, can be helpful with people that have cancer. Um, it, it helps, it helps cancer seems to thrive on sugars and running a low carbohydrate diet seems to be, uh, helpful when you have cancer. I'm not saying it's a cure or I'm not going that far out on the limb, but it, it, there, I don't know if there, you know, seems to be some anecdotal evidence, maybe even some solid evidence that, that it does, it is helpful in situations where people have cancer. So the way I look at various diets, I think people get too married to diets, they they look at them like religion. They get on the keto bandwagon and they treat it like 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 keto is Jesus Christ and him, him fucking self. Okay, um, keto is just diet. Keto is just a tool. Think of it as a tool in your toolbox. You pull the appropriate tool out to do the appropriate job. Okay, if you're severely obese and you need to drop some weight, maybe keto is the way to go. If you have I issues with insulin sensitivity. Maybe keto is the way to go for short periods of time. Another problem I have seen with keto as well, and I, I want, want to bring this up, and I, I've seen it over and over uh, again with people that have done keto, is the keto, I call it the keto rebound. You know, guys get on this keto train and they're like, I feel great. I'm eating bacon all day long and I feel fucking great. Um, and, and, and then they... <laughs> They, uh, you know, lose their minds at some point and have, have that, have that bowl of frosted flakes and they just fucking go on, on, on the, on the carbohydrate binge, uh, because your body craves carbohydrates. The reason it craves carbohydrates is because it uses glucose for fuel. Your brain runs off of glucose guys. And if you're not eating glucose, you're going to crave it. And, and one of the most important things I think with a diet and choosing a diet, the right diet for you, outside of using it for a specific tool to get a job done, if you want something that it has long-term sustainability, it has to be something that you can manage to do day in, day out, year after year, and not lose your goddamn mind. And I, I just haven't seen people be able to sustain keto over a long period of time. I don't know of anybody that has managed to stay on keto for a long period of time. They can do it in short bursts, maybe even a year or two, but eventually they lose their mind and they fuck up some carbohydrates. Um, and I, I, I also, they don't seem to have the best body composition. They just don't. Uh, but that's my two cents. I do think there are times where you can use it. Um, you know, like I said, for insulin sensitivity, maybe if you have somebody who needs to lose fat, who is in a severely, severely obese state and they need to get some fat off, maybe, maybe it is a, it is something to consider. 
um, in, in that situation. But for, for most purposes, I think it's unsustainable. I think it sucks for fucking bodybuilding. I think it's a terrible choice for bodybuilding. Um, uh, but, uh, you do you, this, that's my two cents. All right, guys, that's all I've got. Uh, feel free to tell me in the comment section what an asshole I am and that I don't know what I'm talking about. I know I'm going to piss a bunch of people off with this keto stuff, but that's how I feel. I think that's the truth. Um, but anyway, guys, rock on.